strong lineup here. The number one and two ranked teams after the ranking round for the recurve women's team gold medal match. India shot a 2 0 0 3 in the ranking round, coming out as the top seeds. Mexico a 1988 to come out second. We're doing a full presentation of the teams, even though there are some restrictions here in Guatemala. No crowds. They are introducing the teams out. And Keita back at the lineup with Komalika Bari and, of course, the famous Dapika Kumari for India. Kumari, the highest seed, ranked number nine in the Indian team. And the Mexicans, well, they have a lineup of Alejandra Valencia, Aida. Roman and Anna Vasquez. Lower ranked as a team overall, but a very strong contender here in Guatemala. Well, Nikki, as they get ready, uh, do you have any thoughts about this particular match? Is it is it is it a one sided affair? Are India the favourites here? It's definitely going to be close, being the second versus the first seed. Uh, but I think with India coming through here without conceding even a point so far, I'd probably give them the the advantage. Yeah, strong uh, nation in terms of archery, and it's a big sport in that country as well. Oh, it's huge, absolutely massive following. Well, it looks like we're ready to go for this recurve team match. As you can see, three members in each team. Both archers will shoot two arrows. And we have a set system here. Team India to get us underway. So shooting over 70 meters, the range here. A solid start for Ankita Bakat. Anchoring the team for India. Uh, compatriots Bakat and Bari have started very well. Two nines. Ah, and the uh, team captain gets a, a 10 for India. Great start there, Nikki. Yeah, just what they wanted really uh, coming into this uh, match. It's like you say, 70 metres. Anything in the gold really is yeah fantastic to start with. Great start and response from the Mexicans. Well, brilliant grouping, and here is Ida Roman anchoring the Mexican teams, but of course they can change the order. Yeah, they, d they can. So they're going to shoot one arrow each and then they're going to alternate with the other team, um, but they can change up their order at any time during the match. Sometimes you'll lead out with your strongest competitor uh, or finish with the strongest competitor. Well, the man putting that one into the eight, so all square at the moment. As the Indians stick with their order, it's uh, back at here from uh, West Bengal. Really steady shooting in this opening set. They just look really comfortable, don't they, straight away in the arena? Yeah, they certainly do. And, uh, well, this arrow very important because it could pile an inordinate amount of pressure on the Mexicans just in this first set. Beautiful. So technically possible for Mexico to actually steal this set but they need three tens.
I think that was straight in there. I think it just disappeared between another arrow. Great start from the Mexican team. They've only got about 20 seconds an arrow. So they've got two minutes in total. And they've got to shoot all those arrows within that time. And again, beautiful grouping. Well, Ida Roman, Roman steps up here and they have a chance of stealing the points. A 10 will get Mexico off the mark against a very strong Indian team. <sighs> She's put it into the eight again. It's gone for a measure, uh, but currently the Mexicans on 56 when they could have snatched it with a 10 and India get the set points. And, and Nikki, whilst uh, they go and measure this, just uh, explain how the set system works uh, in team archery. Yeah, so each uh, end, they're going to shoot six arrows per team. The highest score in team is going to earn themselves two points for that set. If they happen to tie, they'll get one point each. And it's going to be the first to five in the team round. If they tie five all, we'll go to a one arrow shoot off. So each archer will shoot one arrow in the team. Again, if they tie on that end, it would go to the uh, closest to the middle. Yeah, so d it's an interesting one because um, whilst uh, the set system does allow for matches to finish perhaps slightly quicker than compound uh, uh, matches, if you do fall behind, though, a new set is the start again. You you start from scratch, so cumulative score is definitely uh, not part of this. Yeah, definitely. It's a completely different game um, because, you know, someone could actually miss, but they could come back in the next set and, and, and win the next set. So, you know, anything is possible. It makes it really exciting every single end. Yeah, it certainly does. Well, we've had the measure... Uh, we're just waiting for confirmation of the scores, but as you can see, Mexico stepping up to the line first for set number two. Really good opening in again there from uh, Mexico. First two archers putting all their arrows in the ten so far. Ida was just going high right in the last end, uh, high left in the last end. So let's see if she can make that correction now. Yes. Yes. Perfecto indeed. Mexicans looking very strong. Yeah, they are. They're a great team. Both these teams are very experienced. Thank you to back up, putting it into the nine. Silver medalist at the uh, recent Asian Olympic qualifier, losing out to her teammate. Topeka Kumari, who shoots third in this lineup, after Kamalika Bari. a little bit lower than we'd expect from these guys you know the conditions out here are really good um, that middle arrow just dropping a little low in the eight perhaps just not enough pressure through the shot something uh, just a little bit soft maybe didn't see too much difference in the shot potentially uh, presents an opportunity Alejandra Valencia putting it into the eight stops the 20 year old Ana Vazquez Man, very vocal, and that's another ten for the Mexicans. Well, my my reckoning, uh, a nine would put this out of reach for India. Yeah, if they can seal up now, then uh, you know, level up to all. That'd be a good place for them to be right now. Focus, from man, and it is a nine. 
So as you can see, that gives them 57 points, and even three tens from India won't match that. So these are practice shots, effectively. Nicky, interesting point here. You, you know that the set's gone. Yeah. You've got to shoot your arrows. What, what's going through your mind? I think sometimes it's just a case of, you know, try and get back into your routine, try and use these as arrows, you know, just to help you get some confidence, um, get yourself back <coughs> in the 10. You know, they've just dropped out of the 10 on this end, a um, little bit low maybe. Uh, so they're just going to regather, you know, as a team, talk to each other, how are the conditions, is there anything that's changing? It doesn't seem to be, um, but they need to get themselves back where they were in this first set. Yeah. Solid shot from Bari, 19 year old, youngster in the team. Three, two. Yeah. I knew that was uh, going to be a good shot, so uh, two tens to finish off for India, plus a nine gives them a 55. A uh, good rehearsal for the next set, but those set points go to Mexico. Strong unit here, shooting three tens at the start. Uh, really put some pressure on India straight away. Yeah, definitely. India just seemed to dip down after that, so whether it affected them, we don't know, but. Um, all to play for with uh, two apiece. Focus on Alejandra Valencia's face, giving her teammate Ana Vasquez some confidence. There's the uh, and Kita back at just 22 years old. Well, they're just measuring this. I interesting to uh, just to develop a little bit on the conversation about India and how, how big a sport uh, archery is in that country. I mean, there, there is a lot of pressure on these, these teams, and a lot of pressure, particularly on Topeka Kamari. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we uh, went out to the Commonwealth Games in Delhi back in 2010, and the support out there was absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it on the archery circuit. Um, just a huge following, lots of fans, lots of, you know, hugely interested people in these guys and they're under exceptional pressure, you know, for them it's like a national sport and, um, you know, all eyes are on them. All eyes are on them right now as we begin set number three. Scores all square, India will shoot first. Start. Start. I'm going to call it in. It's, they've starred it, but I think that hit the line, and if they do touch the line, they will get the highest score. Ocho. Same direction, high right. So I think they might be talking about the conditions. Is this something that might have taken the arrow up there? There's even a mention of wind and it doesn't yeah. look at all breezy. So last then they were all low, weren't they? And now they've gone high, whether they just made some adjustments to their sights and they just flipped and got the other way. Maybe too much. Yeah. Quick shot from Valencia. And her man, very vocal throughout that. She now steps up to the shooting line for her first arrow of the third set. She's up in the nines, but you see that the second arrow for Mexico is marked with an asterisk as well, which means that will be measured. So one arrow from each team subject to a measure. Yeah, can you notice on the string there's um, a little brass point which is between the lips there, so that's uh, a kisser. So it can be used 
uh, usually mostly between the lips like that is there but I think Deepak has actually got hers on her nose hers is much more subtle let's have a look at hers on the, on the last hour of this rotation see another archer this is a different type we've got a plastic kisser and like a rubberized one here so it's just another reference point another way of telling you're in the right place Time. Three, two, one. There wasn't left much time there, and that's the result. Comes away with a nine. Yeah, I mean, they just needed a little bit more there. It's going to come down to some of these uh, liners, so we're not quite sure what they need to chase just yet, but just keep them in the gold. Very fast shots from Alejandro Valencia. Is that possibly to give uh, the youngster in the team, Anna Vasquez, just a little bit more time to set up? No, I mean, generally going to stick to your normal timing. Um, with the recurvers, they're a bit quicker anyway. Um, so yeah. you'd never change your routine for the team round unless you're on that last, you know, and you've got to get the shot away, then that's a little bit different. But generally, you just want to stick to your normal pattern of your normal shots. And they do vary from people to people. Well, that's a beauty, uh, even with the potential nine for India mark, the very first arrow mark with an asterisk going up to a ten. That looks to be out of reach. What performance from Mexico here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're just a little bit tiny slow on that first end, weren't they? But they're really in the groove now. Um, Ada just, as I say, struggled on that first end, a little bit high left for some reason. She's adjusted a sight now when they're really in there as a team. So there's that kisser that you're talking about, just resting between the lips as a reference point. That was that first arrow subject to the measure. We get a great look down at the arrow and bow for Topeka Kamari. focus from Ida Roman at the end getting that 10 and the smile says it all the measure is clearly going to be important there's an air of um, relaxation both teams showing you know, bit, that they're quite relaxed at the moment yeah certainly the Mexican team um, Ada is always uh, you know having a laugh having a giggle on the line which is it's nice it kind of breaks the tension sometimes and that can be really helpful in these matches you know to just break the pressure make it feel a little bit more comfortable as a team so yeah that I think you know it's, it's a good place for them to be it certainly is after so long without any archery making Gold medal match, very, very special. India, well, we talked about the pressure on them. They're trailing by two set points now. So Mexico lead 4 2. This for the Rico women's team at gold. Here at the first stage of the Honda Archery World Cup Series in Guatemala City. What a great opening. That's what they needed right now. Got to, got to put the pressure on. Yes. So they had to put the pressure on. That's a pretty good start. And the key thing here is that they have to win this set. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even a split set is not enough. So five points wins you the match in the team round. So you've got to win this out. Oh, shifted over to the right again. You know, what would, might be the reason for that? Sometimes the bow arm might be a tiny bit soft, but we're not really seeing any difference in these shots. So, 
don't think the conditions are changing for them. Mm. It's really opened the door for India to come back. Yeah, it certainly has. Dropped three points to India's score. That one, oh, that's close though. I'm calling it in. I think that was on the line. It's a nine with an asterisk, which means it will go to a measure. As Nikki says, it touches the line and get marked up. Well, a 10 here would put this set out of reach. Even if that 9 remains a 9. <coughs> it's a 9, so now the measure becomes important if it gets marked up to a 10. Well, there's nothing Mexico can do, but we're not going to know that until the Mexicans have shot their final three arrows and up steps Alejandra Valencia. Moving. Another nine still over to the right again. They've just got to get back into the groove now. Yeah, they have to shoot tens here. Oh, I'm afraid not good enough for this set. It's drifted away from the Mexicans. What more could you ask for though? <laughs> Waited so long for archery to return, and now we're going to have a fifth set with both teams. Of four points each. Intriguing match. The Mexicans came out strongly, but bit by bit, they need to find their way back into this. All square, a four piece after four sets. I'm going to go back to the pressure uh, that the Ron needed and how important the sport is. Well, first question, that's not, I'm not going to let this one go, Nikki. Uh, you mentioned Delhi and that you went out there and the crowds were incredible. You did all right, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did okay. A um, couple of gold medals were brought back, which was amazing. Absolutely incredible event and uh, it couldn't have gone any better for me, really. Oh, fabulous, congratulations. Sí, señora, sí, señora, like, uh, a Commonwealth medal. <laughs> Especially if you get two of them and they're both gold, that's uh, fantastic. Uh, but the, it's, really, it's key that we talk about India because uh, you know they have qualified uh, some archers for the Olympic Games, but only one female archer? Yep, that's my understanding. They've got one female spot at the moment, so they've got to have another opportunity. Um, there's one more qualifier before the Olympics so they'll really be looking to you know get that full female quota at that tournament in July. Yeah. There is one other Olympic qualifier for European athletes in Italia. Uh, but if you're outside of Europe, just the final qualifier, which uh, coincides with the third stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup in Paris. Uh, the Mexicans have also qualified uh, a couple of archers as well. One man, one woman. So all square, all tied, and we will go to a shoot-off here. Targets being cleared off. And, uh, well, Nikki. How does that, how does shoot off work in recurve team events? Yep. So each archer <coughs> is now going to shoot one arrow, and we're going to go off score. You know, the highest score will be the winner. If they both tie with the same score, then it will be the closest arrow to the middle. So you need to keep on an eye on both the score and uh, who's shot closest to the spider. A uh, bit sort of like a half set, if you like, just one arrow each archer. Pika Kamari, the most experienced on the Indian team, and arguably a superstar in, in India as well, and a superstar of a, a Netflix series about uh, ladies first, ladies sport featured by, uh, or featured with the Pika Kamari 
in the story of rags to riches through archery. Yeah, definitely. She's um, really come through the ranks in uh, India and just you know to win the Commonwealth Games herself at, I think, either 15 or 16 years old she was at the time. And she talked about back then it was just easy. There was no uh, nothing to worry about. She just went out there and enjoyed herself. And I know she's been working hard on a mental game <coughs> through the pandemic. And, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see now with the pressure on if those new techniques are, are working. Yeah. It certainly is. The Mexicans are taking a very relaxed approach to it, which is their way. Kamari trying to keep a, a level of high spirits on the Indian side. You can see there's just a little bit more, uh, I don't want to call it tension, but uh, seriousness to their game. Nikita Bakat steps up first for India. A lot of pressure on the 22-year-old and a lot of vocal support from her teammates. Nine. It's not a bad start. Alejandra Valencia do. Matched. Drifted out into the eight. Mini opportunity here for the Mexicans. And Vasquez steps up. And how much pressure she's feeling. Yeah, <coughs> you can see that deep exhalation there. Can you just trying to calm her nerves before the shot? Yeah. Yeah, quick yeah. shot, and look at that a 10 and a fist bump. Huge pressure now on Topeka Kamari and the Indian teams. Not only does she need to shoot a 10 in my book, but she needs to shoot a 10 that's closer to the spider. That is a cracker. 27 points for the Indians. So a nine is enough for Ida Raman to take this from Mexico. But she has shot a few eights in this match. Yeah, we have seen some, so she's got to keep this nice and solid. Quick release again. <gasps> That's drifted out into the seven. And wow, unbelievable. India taking this one with, well, what has to be uh, classed as a, a little bit of an error from Ida Raman. Yeah, what a shame. It just, it just went out wide, didn't it, to the left. She's not really sure why. They're discussing it right now. But oh, well done to India. You know, really solid performance. And uh, that final arrow from Deepak. I mean, she did exactly what you asked her right there, didn't she? Yeah, absolutely. She needs to put it in the tent. She needs to get it close to the centre just in case we went to a tied score, but India have done it uh, in the shoot-off on score alone. 27 plays 26. India take the recurve women's team gold here in Guatemala. Well, uh, incredible uh, match, actually. A great way to start recurve Sunday, I'd say. Uh, it looked like uh, India were just going to be dominant right from the start, coming out of the block super fast, going 2-0 up. Only for the Mexicans to show what they're made of in the next two sets. Yeah, it swung both ways, didn't it, throughout the match. Um, like I've said from the beginning, it was going to be tight. Um, these seeds, one and two in the women's uh, division. So, yeah, what a great match. And oh, it was nail-biting to the final arrow. Yeah, back and forth. Uh, but uh, it'll be uh, good news in India. And uh, we all know they need some good news at the moment. Congratulations to Ankita Bakat, Dapika Kumari and Kamalika Bari. They've taken gold here in Guatemala. Well, the athletes will go...